We want to get right to our top story this morning, the killing of Muammar Gaddafi. This morning, his burial is on hold, and there are still a lot of questions over how the longtime dictator died on Thursday. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer is in Tripoli, Libya, this morning with the latest. Liz, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Well, a few more details may emerge from some new amateur video available this morning, presumably taken by one of the rebel fighters who was on the scene at his capture. Uh, we should warn you, though, it does contain some graphic images. The violent death of a violent dictator. Gaddafi's final moments face to face with his captors pleading for his life. The end came just outside his birthplace of Sirte. He was shot by revolutionary forces who broke their promise to keep him alive to face trial. But few seem to regret it. Libya's prime minister was unusually evasive when he described what had happened. He was injured with a bullet to the head, he said. The coroner wasn't able to determine whether the bullet came from the rebels or Gaddafi's own forces. Gaddafi's personal weapon was a golden pistol. The rebel fighters say they took it from him, and yesterday they paraded it through Sirte as a trophy. Gaddafi's body now lies nearby in Misrata, the city that suffered such colossal damage as its citizens fought Gaddafi's army to a standstill. Instead of burying Gaddafi quickly, according to Islamic law, Libya's new leaders now say they may want to keep the body on display in the morgue to prove he's really dead. But thousands believed it right away, and the celebrations went on all night across the country. Anyone in mourning stayed well out of sight. Libya is about to officially begin its new chapter. The interim leader, Mustafa Abdel Jalil, is going to uh, call or dubbed tomorrow, if you like, Liberation Day, and that means the clock starts ticking. Eight months from now, there will be elections. Erica? All right, Liz, it's Jeff. I'll take it. Liz Palmer in Tripoli. Liz, thanks very much.